it's winter here in New York. And with that comes hearty meals. And with that comes leftovers. Hearty meals are soups, sauces, chilies. A hearty soup is considered food food. Tupperware capacity is still a top priority. And Tupperware capacity is going to come down to how many guests brought dessert. Cakes, cookies, pastries, bottle of wine is acceptable. If you brought nothing, you get nothing. Nada. Zero. But there is a cap on how many leftovers they can take. The cap really comes into effect if the person is not the best cook and they'll try to coerce the person who made the meal. The food was so good, you have to give me the recipe. Nice try. One Tupperware, one leftover. We have immediate family leftover protections. Those who fall under this category are those who live in the home and seniors. The rest fall under the leftover distribution plan. If the parents made the meal, the initial priority goes to the children. If grandparents made a meal, then parents, children, so on and so forth. Siblings are encouraged to share accordingly. We all know it doesn't always work out that way. We want to be fair in the allocation. Leftovers, regardless of how many, go to seniors and immediate household members first. If they deny, they can be distributed in accordance with the rest of the family based on Tupperware capacity. Grandparents break up into two categories, 65 plus. Then there is younger than 65, 45, 55 who don't look like grandparents that we know. Who's had cosmetic surgery, who's watching their figure, who caters food instead of cooking. We love them just the same, but they lose their grandparent mystique. Grandparents in this country were very powerful. They ruled with an iron fork and a wooden spoon. And as they get older, 80s, 90s, they pass that power on to their children and then grandchildren. And we take care of them. Regardless of how they look, what they pass on, what they bestow to us is what's important. How we cook, what we share, the food we eat. It's very important what we take from that Tupperware. We take much more than leftovers. We take tradition. We in New York are not fans of the winter. But with the bad comes the good. And after every hearty meal with the ones you love, there is more left over than just food. The moments, the feelings, the emotion. It is that which makes us New York tough, smart, united, and always reaching for more. Don't lose the lids.